Hey y'all, it's a direct rip. So, I got. <laughs> this will be a quick video. Actually, every time I say that, this should be 30 minutes long. Anyway, it's a quick video on my menstrual journey and essentially kind of not necessarily period mapping when you like put that shit on a calendar you know x out the number of days and you kind of chart your flow or or you use like an app or something like that i am talking about kind of following your body's cycles when it comes to menstruating just like a physiological understanding that you start to have of your body so for me i have pcos meaning that i don't menstruate regularly um that's something that people with pcos don't necessarily have to have but generally there is like a marked kind of missed periods for the year like you know if we're having 12 menstrual and 12 menstruations you may miss two or three whatever like i'm just saying that's like a number just throwing it out there so um i personally have missed one so i was like last month and then this month not so much so uh, one of the things though that i want to talk about is as i come more online because pcos is not something that like overnight you're just going to change coming more online with it i am noticing like very marked shifts in my added like my attitude and craving and stuff like that and so i'm gonna share kind of like i think the importance of that i think ultimately the importance of that is you start to get to know yourself a lot better and you get to meet your needs you learn to meet certain needs and you learn to mitigate some of the issues potentially that you could have by taking like you know productive action towards lessening symptoms um dissipating like dissipating symptoms altogether dealing with things like that i think that if you have periods that you should really seek to map it out and i think to map your own interests emotional things that come up throughout the month your food cravings stuff like this and what i've noticed for me is that of course like ovulation like follicular i kind of feel like energetically some stuff happening ovulatory obviously the physiological of wanting to be more sexually active and all of that kind of stuff like pops up when i get to my like luteal phase and my um menstrual phase i really notice a shift so i notice a lot of release emotional release i notice i'm fed up with a lot of stuff obviously like the emotional stuff is happening but i'm fed up with a lot of stuff a lot of emotional cycles that are really intrinsic i think to my heart space oddly enough like come up a lot things that i'm really like tender about come up i've noticed with the um the muscles contraction <laughs> i am a lot more prone to uh needing to take bathroom breaks <laughs> for the rear door exit <laughs> Um, because of all, you know, everything that's going on down there. And I've noticed also my dietary shifts. So I end up in my later menstrual cycles needing a lot of savory foods. So I, I'm eating a lot of grits. I'm eating a lot of mac and cheese. And I'm also eating meat. A lot of meat. Uh, particularly I like lamb for some reason. That ends up being a thing. <laughs> ends up being a thing. But I'm really grateful for being able to track this whole cycle because I think a lot of women, yeah, they do period tracking and I kind of think they, it's almost like they leave it up to like an app or something like that to kind of do it. And I think kind of just, even if you don't put out a piece of paper, although I think it's cool to write down this stuff because you'll start to notice a lot of patterns. Imagine if you had a period book 
for like five years like how many things would you notice about yourself in like five years right I think it's really good to note these things even if it's just in your mind and you can go back on your bank statements even for the food part and look at what you bought <laughs> around these times but I think it's really good I think it's one of the first steps of autonomy in other areas I think that bodily autonomy for women really is something that is going to be a lifelong cycle however it's one of the first steps I think to you questioning things regarding your body I think understanding what your body needs you start to question the remedies that are presented to you and the options that are presented to you when it comes to your own health or your own mental well-being or whatever. Understanding your period is understanding yourself on a level that very few people around you even get to recognize outside of like PMS and stuff like that. And oh damn, you ate a lot or something like that. It's an arena that you really shouldn't, in my opinion, take a back seat to. And it's kind of sad that a lot of a lot of women do because you know um you're you own your body you know what i'm saying and so knowing about your body knowing about what you actually need is really important and i think that we do ourselves a disservice by not learning about our own bodies yeah learning about the reproductive system and everything that's happening great but learning about the particularities of your body helps you evolve as a person because you know you best and you know what you're craving and what you want and what you want to go for at that moment and you can choose what path you're going down you can choose what food you can choose blah 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 and so my own menstrual cycle has been me being a lot more aware of myself at any given moment because we have you know a, generally a 28 day cycle which is basically the length of a month so knowing myself through all of these shifts and knowing what's happening and observing kind of the space around me of kind of being self but observing self right it's kind of an interesting thing so I definitely implore people to track that track that stuff track your periods track what you crave track the music you listen to track the emotional themes that come up track what you feel like wearing um just stuff like that you get to know the particularities of yourself and i think knowing yourself is key going forward to even more i guess externally um externally important decisions because you kind of know you know yourself well enough not like you've mastered yourself but you've mastered yourself enough to kind of deal with more external matters um and you're not off balance within yourself and so you can deal with those external matters so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video yeah so what has your experience been like kind of embodying your menstruation um how have you improved? How have you not improved? Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Whatever. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.